our objective is to create a sequential circuit using SR flip-flop that changes states based on the input, with specific transitions for each state combination. Step 1. Understand the problem. The goal is to design a sequential circuit using SR set minus reset flip minus flops that changes its state based on the input. If the input is 0, the state remains unchanged. If the input is 1, the state transitions as follows, minus 0 to 11 minus 1 to 10 minus 10 to 0 minus 11 to 0. Step 2. Identify states and transitions first. Identify the states and the transitions between them based on the input. The states are 0, 1, 10 and 11. The transitions are determined by the input 0 or 1. Step 3. Create the state diagram. Draw a state diagram that represents the states and transitions. The states are represented by circles and the transitions are arrows between them. Label the transitions with the input that causes the transition. Minus from state 0 and arrow loops spark to itself labeled 0 indicating no change on input 0 and another arrow goes to state 11 labeled 1. Minus from state 1 and arrow loops back to itself labeled 0 and another arrow goes to state 10 labeled 1. Minus from state 10 and arrow loops back to itself labeled 0 and another arrow goes to state 0 labeled 1. Minus from state 11 and arrow loops back to itself labeled 0 and another arrow also goes to state 0 labeled 1. Step 4. Create the state table. The state table is the current state, the input, the next state, and the outputs for the SR flip minus flop says and are needed to achieve the next state. Current state kunk e zero input a next state kunk zero seven zero 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 one eleven 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 one zero one zero zero one one zero one ten one zero ten one ten ten one ten zero ten zero zero ten one zero one ten eleven zero eleven zero zero eleven one zero 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 note zone row and so r zero are the outputs for the two sr flip minus flops. Assuming kunk e zero represents two flip minus flops, one indicates setting or resetting, and zero indicates no change. Step 5. Determine the logic for S and R inputs based on the state table. Determine the logic equations for the S and R inputs of each flip minus flop. This involves analysing the table to see under what conditions each flip minus flop should be set, reset or left unchanged. Minus for sunset input of flip minus flop 1. It needs to be 1 when transitioning from 0 to 11 i equal to 1 and current key 0 equal to 0. Minus for Roma set input of flip minus flop 1. It needs to be 1 when transitioning from 11 to 0 i equal to 1 and cone key 0 equal to 11. Minus similar logic applies to sure and R0 based on the transitions involving the second bit. Step 6. Implement the circuit using the logic equations derived in step 5. Implement the circuit with SR flip minus flops and the necessary logic gates to control the S and R inputs based in the current state and input. This might involve and or and not gates to create the conditions for setting or resetting the flip minus flops. Step 7. Verify the circuit finally. Verify the circuit operation by simulating or manually checking each transition according to the state table. Ensure that for each input and current state, the next state and the outputs of the SR flip minus flops match the expected values in the state table. This step minus by minus step process outlines how to design a sequential circuit with specific state transitions using SR flip minus flops, from understanding the problem to implementing and verifying the circuit.